सुबह सुबह क्या हो गया भाई वेरी नाइस खड्डे में उतार दिया Just half an hour back, it was raining like uh, little drip, little drip, drip, drizzling, and now mm, it's almost like giving me way to go to office. <laughs> thank you, Rain God. Not thank you, Shakti Man. So hello, all my YouTubers, my subscribers. my dear friends and the new viewers this is prajesh here from bullet diaries once again in front of you i am on my way to office and uh, it's a very small a small distance which i cover around 6 kilometers to my office and uh, yeah on my way i thought of recording something i I started recording each and every day almost now because I have to be regular on recording. So yeah, how are you? How, how is everything going on? Hope everything is good. Today again, I'm back, going to my office. Little bit of drizzling started, I guess. I don't know whether I'll be able to reach my office uh, without rain. I'm here with a weird setup of uh, mic. <laughs> Just to escape from the wind blast, I had put a put a sponge, a sponge cover, which actually filters the air or the air uh, the the wind blast and gives you a very proper sound. So I use a very basic software for editing. There is no provision for avoiding the wind noise. So I have to do some filtering. Yeah, this is kind of filter, <laughs> you can say. So most of us uh, face a problem with the wind blast, and uh, later on, whenever you talk, or uh, it will be all over the wind blast, and nothing is you will be able to listen to. But it's very funny and weird what I look like. See. So, yeah, guys. today i just want to talk about uh, the breaking on the royal enfield now a few of you guys especially my friend kaushik who is also having a youtube channel he had mentioned about the combination brakes and uh, today i want to mention the same thing being a royal enfield whether it be 350 cc or 500 cc except the thunderbird models and uh, the himalayan Uh, the front and uh, the front and rear are not disc brakes i am not sure whether himalayan has a disc brake in the rear as well but on thunderbird it has both front and back disc brakes so except these two models uh, all the royal enfield have the front disc brake and a rear drum brake now in many of the reviews and everything people might have mentioned about poor braking of uh, royal enfield and due to his heavy weight and the torque it produces and the inertia yes when you are traveling at a speed of 40 km per hour or 40 to 60 km per hour the inertia which it creates it is much much higher than uh, the inertia which other 150 cc bikes or other bike creates because of the weight so so braking is not that good so whenever there is a situation where you have to like uh, suddenly brake it or even you have to break it i i always apply a formula that is uh, to use combination brakes i use both front and back brakes in a combination 
brakes now see there are there are a couple of uh, there are two types of braking what we do one is panic brake like this and we will we'll just come to stop and second is we understand that there is something something wrong and we have to we have to slow down like this see i saw the vehicle so i can plan myself and uh, i can slow down there are some places where you have to like uh, immediately stop there so there are two type of brakes so in that case what you can do is uh, just a minute because if i speak here people will think i'm mad so it's good to see bikers are giving signals not this suzuki access though whenever on your uh, whenever you are on the road please keep in mind that uh, it is not that you only alone are driving there are fellow drivers also who needs to be informed and who needs to be uh, well under this thing that what are things going on and, and whatever whatever sudden adjustments you make uh, it's it's not uh, necessary that uh, the other person also should make the necessary or the same adjustment what you have done i think the car people i don't know what they are doing ah they know each other so i was talking about the combination brake so the formula which i use is uh, like just a moment i'll just go forward time for me to have something yen idaka parotta wait for okay rice bath kudi ayyo vajjiwa namuga naave kolche Ah, so after breakfast, I'm back. Sorry, guys, I was hungry. <laughs> so I was talking about the combination brakes. <coughs> Now, what happens is even if you apply in any bike a single brake. let it be a uh, rear or front brake front brake if you apply there are chances more that uh, the 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 rear wheel can come up or if you apply only the rear brake which is a drum brake chances are that it will skid the vehicle will skid like this in you know in a in a direction so what i what technology or uh, the criteria which i apply is same like uh, kaushik said i apply see i apply this combination brakes so whenever there is a braking situation both the tires are engaged on the brakes but again i am let me tell you one thing do not apply hard brakes or sudden brakes it can affect your bikes it it needs little bit of practice and uh, there i'll tell you one more situation see if you are going at a speed of 80 km per hour or something then if you want to go and just apply brake just 1 2 3 4 five so you have to just keep on releasing the brake and just apply it it is it is almost similar to the <coughs> technical specification of an abs even though you will not get that uh, abs kind of uh, gripping or braking but still it is very effective i i have uh, applied it on my classic 350 bullet and even whatever pulsar or any any bike i have so even though you have a disc brake if it is not an abs try to grip and release the brakes so it will 
what happens is instead of uh, coming from 80 to 20 kilometers per hour at a distance of say uh, 1 meter or 1.5 meters you can break it down in in each and every step and it will like come down come down come down and and suddenly it will stop certainly and even the distance also is will be very very lesser compared to what if you if you are applying even the, even the combination brake or single brake when you are approaching any any situation where see each and every person's judgment is different and uh, one more tip which i want to give is this is a kind of a safety tip as well please please do maintain a safety distance between each and every vehicle because you never know that uh, when uh, three or four vehicles in front of you is going to break suddenly so at that particular moment of time when you are traveling even at a speed of 20 or 30 kilometers per hour the judgment it, 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 it will be like a chain reaction so he will break then the then the person behind will break he also will be lacking behind a few seconds few milliseconds then you will break then by the time it reaches to you uh, there are always the chances that you are going to hit that particular bike which is in front of you oh my god this is yo uh, jam what the hell ah in this pretty narrow roads if you if you come with bigger trucks this is what the result you get moreover that the turning radius is of bigger vehicles even though it is good but but the size of the vehicles which the width they have <coughs> it's always necessary that you should have enough ample space on the radius when you are driving or when you are turning it see we people with the bikes uh, we are sitting on the center of the two wheeler and uh, it is it is almost like our width of our, or our hands width what we get and we need only that turning radius but when you are driving a four wheeler you are sitting on one side of the one side of the vehicle and you are judging you are actually keep giving you are actually keeping on thinking and and uh, your judgment always it can go much the failure rate is higher than uh, the bikes when compared to the four wheelers or the bigger trucks so it's always difficult <coughs> so i was talking about grip and releasing of the brakes now see uh, whenever you are applying your brake please be very careful that you are not suddenly giving pressure on to the brake pads whether it is the front one or even the down one whenever you apply brake try to be as much smooth as possible go in a uh, what to say in a linear pressure so that 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 sudden brake kind of thing will not happen and your and your rear tire will not skid see if you if you go back and see my video where uh, I had done a certain braking on the MG road in the Kannada block where I was looking on the left hand side and suddenly the car had stopped the only reason which why I did not hit the car was I was having a safer distance plus uh, I was not very much harsh on the braking even though he braked suddenly I was like uh, I was lenient on the brake and I was applying combination brake again I, I want to stress you of you guys oh shit oh, what a road <laughs> whatever i ate is going to come out in these roads ha <sighs> so yeah almost i'm reaching and the rain also is going to start see guys i am i am breaking combination and i am gripping and leaving so that the speed will break down into bits and pieces as uh, my friend also told that so this is just a uh, a repetition of that particular same thing but even uh, more i want to stress on the thing that please if you are having a royal enfield do not depend on single brakes apply combination brakes and uh, your life will be very much smoother and easier when you are in the traffic 
don't always depend on either the front brake or the rear brake i had started dizzling now <laughs> the kachada bike the kachada lorry the baby mp <laughs> nice smell is coming man i can't explain so yeah guys this was a short message on brakes do mention in the comments that which all topics you want to cover me i'll be doing each one by one because without your support as i told that i will not be able to do any kind of vlogs so yet again i am uh, in front of my office my vehicle is in first gear itself no second i guess no. neutral engine kill switch off and take the key so yeah guys signing off thanks a lot